Gemini, hello. It's time for your mid-March to April reading of this current fucking year. Hooray. How are y'all doing? Okay, yeah, this, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, go look at your stuff if you don't know your stuff, right? We're going to be doing Player 1, Player 2 game. Yay. Or group 1, Group 2, whatever. Thunderdome, right? Um, if you want a personal reading, my email's down below. Just hit me up. I don't charge for it, but I do take donations and shit like that, so... Do what sh with it what you will. But I normally don't charge for my personals, so no worries. So, group one, we're going to get started with you. I have no idea what the hell we talked about last time, Gemini. My stomach is starting to bother me. I think it's because I drank so much coffee today. Just bullshit, because I only had a cup and a half, maybe. Maybe. No whammies. All right. Ew. Nine of swords reversed, huh? Yeah. The Fool or the Sacred Clown reversed. Hesitation in your wants and wishes. King of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries in your fears and rejections. The Tower reversed in the situation. The Wheel of Fortune in what's going against you. Your challenges and obstacles. The Judgment card in the Catalyst as well as the final result. And... The hanged man, upright though. So someone might be biding their time. They might lose a few things, but they're not going to lose anything too valuable. Right? Right. They are at a crossroads, and something needs to be surrendered. Give me like two seconds. Okay, sorry. I thought it was like something completely different. Okay, so... Oof. Nine of Swords reverse. Someone's got some shit on their mind. But they keep putting it in their mind. Like, it's reversed, so it's like, ah, uh, right? Yeah, about something not working out. Like, it's actually really bothering you, Gemini. A lot. Because I feel like it's Gemini a little bit, like, plagued. I mean, I think the Nine of Swords is Gemini's card, now I'm thinking about it. Or it could be Libra's. Okay, so sorry. I just wanted to sit here and, like... I know I had one, damn it. I just wanted to sit here and look. Okay, there it is. At this for a second. I, like I said, Gemini. Because I always feel like the Nine of Swords is kind of like Gemini. Like, because they have a hard time deciding on things. Like, they're indecisive. And if you let them sit for a while... With their indecisiveness... It kind of bothers him. It's like something's not working out with you. Either a skill isn't being taken up. Or you're just not working it out with them somehow. And it's like, uh. We got the tower moment being avoided down here. Or attempting to be avoided. Possibly with a Capricorn. Or a Virgo or a Taurus. Queen of Pentacles. Upright. Who is dependent. Who is... She's very self-sufficient. She is almost childlike, I feel like. She's just playing with her own things, having a good old time, chilling by herself. There's a little buddy down there. It's probably her pet. Well, she sits in her wicked-ass chair. I'm trying to avoid it with somebody. Like, it's like a disaster you're trying to, like, be away from. Like, I don't know. Like, you're trying... It, it, it's like you're avoiding something bad happening with some Queen of Pentacles person. But in your head, it's just not working out. Or you just don't want to work on it. But it's bothering you. They Ah, Sacred Clown, or the full reverse, right? As well as, like, a little bit out of control this, right? Both could be Aries, so that's appropriate. So there's a little bit of lack of control, or maybe somebody's being a little bit too in control. Someone's just... A lot of hesitation with it, too, I feel like. A lot of, um... Eh, you know? Yeah. 
it's like a right judgment call for you, or you want to resurrect something, or you want to get something right. You want the right idea. That's why you're hesitating. Like, you, you don't want to take that leap of faith because you want to make sure it's... That's what you're supposed to do. Or maybe you think that, um... Staying in place and not doing anything is the right call, group one. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune down here in your... <laughs> okay, you think it's the right idea to um, hesitate, yet what's going against you is the Wheel of Fortune, which is telling you to move forward, which is, which is saying that things are going ahead. Think the wheel is turning, like, things are proceeding as planned. It's like, Jesus, yeah, like, wanting to restrain that, definitely. Definitely, definitely, most definitely. Like you want to restrict this wheel from turning because you think it's a right digital call, but it's like it could also be dealing with a Leo. Like they could be moving forward, keeping themselves or keeping themselves back. Or That lion represents the Wheel of Fortune. And it could be you here, possibly, trying to close the Wheel of Fortune's mouth, Gemini. Or whoever this is, right? And it's not working as well as what you thought it was. Like, the wheel's gonna keep turning. It's like a fucking clock. You can only put a clock in, something in a clock before... The gears end up either knocking it out or it just stops. But as soon as that thing is taken out, the gears start again. King of Wands reversed. Also Leo, but also Sagittarius and Aries. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, someone's being a little bit unfair about avoiding this tower. <laughs> someone's afraid that, like, they're being, um, unfair about avoiding the tower. Literally, and they were going to the tower with this Queen of Pentacles person right here. It's like you want to avoid this disaster, but you know it's the wrong thing to do? Or you just, you just want to avoid this disaster, but you know that it's not fair. Like, there's two people here who are falling out of this building, right? Two of them, and now they're both suspended. They're not allowed to fall to their fate. No, they're being held up because one person is being kind of, um... They are being... I want to say selfish, but I don't think that's even the right word. It's like they're feeding into the wrong vibe. It's like they're too busy, um... On their... It's like they're focused on their appearance of power and control. Like they're restricting themselves and causing everybody else to be restricted with them. You know, like trying to stall the wheel of fortune by closing its fucking mouth and it's still not working, right? Like, what the fuck? Like, someone is really trying to stop this process, and but it's still not gonna work. It's it's not like it's still gonna happen. And then we have judgment again in the catalyst as well as the final result. What is the judgment? Um, no victory. Nobody coming to give rewards or blessings or thanks. Possibly even an enemy in the house. Deciding this would make one a loser. <laughs> like, there's no victory found in this at all. Like, someone feels like even when they're trying not to work on this thing that's bothering them, possibly this avoiding a tower moment with the Queen of Pentacles, they realize it's still not going to um, give them anything by continuing to hold back on the tower. 
like a jerk. You know, this is the first person, right? That's the ending theme. Someone needs to surrender <laughs> to a third party situation? What? Or you want a third party situation and you feel like you're at a crossroads and possibly who you want to choose. Like, are you avoiding a tower with, with both of these people, the King of Wands reverse and the Queen of Pentacles? Like, is someone like, Wanting two people, but they're avoiding a disaster with both of them because they know and, and it still just Doesn't give them any satisfaction because that's just what it's kind of feeling. It's like someone wants Like there's a third party here, and it's like someone needs to surrender something Like one of these two are more valuable than the other and That it needs to be surrendered. So it's like uh, that, that, that's kind of understandable though, but in your head, something is just not working out. I feel like it's about that Queen of Pentacles. I think you want to avoid a disaster with her more than you do this, um... Or, are you afraid of this tower moment with this guy? And you're trying to avoid it with him for a completely different reason. Right? What are the three advice cards for Gemini? Oh, saw that one. It's so on. Something's gonna get started here. So something's gonna happen. Yeah, you could get some booty. Ooh, look at that booty. That'd be great. Look at that. Look at you go. Look at you. You just got people falling for you. I think. I think that puts. I like. I, I don't know. I just put a smile on my face a little bit. Like, ooh, yay. You know, like just a happy thing. Then we have, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> It's literally like, fuck you, we're going. That's what, I, that, like, that was it. It was just kind of like, fuck you. I'm, like, this is happening. That is so groovy, Gemini. That's cool, man. Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna get started, and something's gonna move on its way. And, and like, maybe eventually, group one, group two, Gemini, whoever it is, you'll embrace the whole, fuck it, I'm going for it. And it turns out wonderful, right? Whatever this is, I have no idea. And we're only on group one, so we still need to look at group twos. But group one, you, like your energy is making me really ecstatic. Like, I, like I'm definitely feeling more emotions and moods with you. Like, there's no emotion here. It's more like just the dilemma of the situation. Ah. Uh. What? This last device card, right? It's for, um, like, this one's for, something's gonna get started regardless, right? But this right here, something will begin, something will start to either a sexual encounter, um, a new plan, a new adventure, anything that comes to mind that you have passion for will probably get started, and I feel like it's with this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're more bothered that you don't have this tower moment with her than, um, Then you are that it does happen. Like, I feel like you are plagued. And you feel like it won't work to avoid this tower moment with this Queen of Pentacles, right? And, like... But I feel you being happy about this brand new start, too, so... And then the Wheel of Fortune is just being like, Yeah, sure, you don't want to do anything, but we're still going, right? This is the tower moment with this King of Wands that's being avoided. And this judgment call of not really having a victory down here, right? And the story with it is like, there wasn't an offer being made. So it was like someone got really insecure. Then some clarity came out of nowhere. About someone like missing an opportunity to manifest something, I feel like. And communicate that. Like they weren't able to manifest the communication that they wanted. Or, or they weren't able to communicate, they weren't able to come to some sort of healing that they needed to be done, too. They couldn't come together with somebody. Or something. Something like that. That's the final advice card. Very cool. Okay, lack of clarity. 
Like, there, there, like, like, there's no clarity in this. Okay, we get two ace cards. This is a verse. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. But Ace of Swords is reversed, and it's like... Mmm. If this was all reverse, right, there would be more clarity in the Tower moment happening because of a bad decision that led to a victory. That's what it would be if, it, if the Ace of Swords and all these cards right here were um, flipped. That's what it would read. So that would be the actual, like, clarity in this. But that's not what it, what it is. It's like, someone has the wrong idea already. And they aren't trying to open up to a new perspective. And all it's doing is bringing back, resurrecting this feeling or the energy of someone not winning at something. Somebody kind of failing, most likely. Maybe they just feel like it wouldn't work anyway. But it's the wrong idea, like. Should be started. Even if you continue with the wrong idea, like, something should be started here. But this is kind of like... What are you doing with this? Trying to get away? Or just trying to whatever? That's nice. Thank you. Um, email. We're going to move on to group two. Yay. Wow, it was 16 minutes for yours. Group one. Y'all should feel special. Not really. You don't have to if you don't want to. Well, I mean, like, yeah, you should. I don't know. I never know what to say to a fucking Gemini. Like, because I can never read them. Like... Well, I can read them in person, but if I try to text them sometimes, it's just like communicating with somebody somehow. And then it just gets worse, because then I just get self-conscious, and it's just like, ah. And I don't want to be, like, dickish. But I'm not good at not being a dick. I'm actually really poor at it. <laughs> Alright, group two. We be looking at yours. Yay. Yeah. Let's see what your side says. Cause like, now I'm all interested in shit. Cause it's just like, what is group one even talking about? <laughs> like I'm, I'm kind of kerflunkled. Cause it's just like, okay man, that's cool. I don't know, I hope that's not a bad, like, read. Like, not bad as in <clears throat> inaccurate, but more like bad as in, um... They were a negative person, but I couldn't pick it up correctly. Because, like, I couldn't match... Like, it's weird. Like, okay, like, I don't do the whole energy things, but I do believe in vibrations and frequencies, right? And it's like, if I don't match a frequency with someone who is in... Uh, who is in... To really bad things, like, they like doing bad stuff, it's, like, hard for me to pick up that they're a bad person, because it's just, like, I don't see it immediately. Like, usually people who are good at hiding that stuff even fool me, but they come out in the cards anyway, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> like, even if I don't understand it, like, they do, and I just say whatever the fuck they're saying, but it's, like, but I don't feel like group one, it's reading was that bad, do you? Or does it make sense to you? I don't know. I literally sat here for three minutes shuffling these cards. Holy shit. Didn't mean to. Alright. Three of Cups. Group two. Three of Wands reverse in your wants and wishes. Six of Pentacles. And your fears and rejections. Okay. Uh, no, oh, you have three cups up here. Hmm. Six of Cups reversed in the situation. Justice reversed. Libra energy. Libra's card, actually. Um, Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. Two of Swords reversed. Having a hard time making that decision, are we? Yeah. You are having a lot of hesitation when it comes to that decision group, too. You are trying to figure it out. 
But it's really hard for, yeah, like you're, you're actually digging really deep into some info. Um, probably on the black dark corners of the interwebs, as we like to call it. Um, trying to get something, you're sneaking around, you're trying to devise some sort of plan and you got something in mind, you just aren't saying anything. Might be a little devious. You definitely can't come to some sort of decision. There's this three of cups here, and group one had the three of cups. Right? But, um, oh, ooh. It's upright, so it's like more like friendships, having a good time, partying hard, right? There's some sort of decision you need to do with um, this right here, okay? You have to make some sort of decision when it comes to like, who, I guess who you deal with, who you associate with, how you handle them. You're trying to look at one world over the other because you cannot have both. You cannot have the world you created and the world outside of which. It's just not allowed, right? Um, Six of Cups Reverse deals with um, memories, possibly childhood memories. Something from the past that you're probably moving away from, which is like this Nine of Pentacles vibe where you feel complete. You're, you're, I, I think this is kind of like saying like you've grown out of your childhood and you've become this. Like, something from the past has made you feel very, um, special and comfortable and good. Standing on your own, really, more than anything. Like, this is your garden, this is your pinnacles, yeah, you could be someone's trophy wife, fuck it, you don't care, you still look good either way, with or without somebody. Ooh. Okay. So, in your wants and wishes, we got the three of wands reversed. And there is a, hmm. there's a, 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 a point here where like, you just are done. You don't want to wait anymore. Like you just kind of want this to be over, but you're still snooping for information. This could be Gemini, this could be Libra, or this could be Aquarius, either or. But someone's definitely like trying to look some stuff up, trying to figure something out. Possibly trying to find a way to end this properly or to verbalize it and there she's looking towards the um two of wands and the three of cups right here like she wants to verbalize an end with or something gather information to go and make this decision somehow but there comes a head over heart decision that someone cannot move with possibly even bad karma justice which is libra's card right there's a lot of fucking error between the two of y'all right it, it is driving someone nuts like someone cannot come to that decision someone just cannot get there like they can't separate their heart and their head in order to like come to something correctly that could honestly be gemini and that's nine of swords which is just like i said that was gemini earlier too it's it's like a problem like they're definitely comfortable but they're, they're having such a hard time trying to decide things. Like, I think someone really wants to end things and they want to come out and say it. They're trying to find the right way of saying it. They're trying to look at the right way of saying it. They're trying to look things up to find the right way of saying it in order to decide what world they want to live in. Six of Pentacles is in the fears and rejections. There's balance. Could also be dealing with the Libra here, too. There's a lot. like fucking air everywhere. Definitely. Like, Gemini, you are... Wherever you are in either of these readings, you are just an influence throughout. There's so much air. So much. Let's see. But yeah. There's fear of some sort of... Okay. So... There are two people here, and there's definitely balance between the two of them, but there's somebody in the background, a shadow. And I'm not saying that this person isn't getting attention or getting what they need. I'm saying they're lingering like a fucking ghost. And here is your card, Gemini. One person's looking in the air, just like, uh uh, uh and like at the, and the other person's just looking at him, like, what are you staring at? Is it a bug? Like, they're talking to him like it's their cat staring at a wall. But what they don't realize is that there's a higher being up here. 
that the feminine is definitely connected to more while the masculine is a little bit more focused on her being like what the fuck are you looking at like what is there like is it lint you know like now this is also the lover's card as well gemini and it's like are you afraid of this person in the background and what could possibly come with them or is this you in the background? Like, is this, uh, uh, like, I feel like this is a potential where, like, I don't know. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> like, why is the Six of Pentacles? In, like, you're afraid of balance? Are you, are, are you afraid of this, like, or, like, do you want a relationship with this shadow person? Or are you already in this and it's like... The shadow person's a snake. Just whispering shit in your ear. <laughs> like, it's it's kind of like that. It's just kind of like, hmm. That is so odd. I, I, I really don't know. Like, and Libra could be in here too. Once again, so that's even more air. And it's like... And you guys could definitely be dealing with a Libra, but it's... Like, who is this person? <laughs> who is this Gemini people who I read for? Anybody? Like, I'm, I'm really confused, because... I'm seriously confused. Because I'm not sure entirely what that means. Six of Pentacles and the Lovers. If anybody else can tell me, that'd be wonderful. Just put it in the comments below. I don't mind um, the criticism. But it's like, I don't know how to read this, because it's like, there's three people here, but I don't know... What? Like, are you looking at someone else like they're fucking God? <laughs> is that what I'm getting? Like, someone is looking at somebody like they're God? Or some higher being? Or some higher creator? Or some shit? I don't know. This makes it even more confusing. <laughs> Okay, catalyst as well as final result. There is an offer that is slowly but surely coming. Dealing with this completion here. Dealing with this Ten of Pentacles, like a legacy or something like that. Like, And you can see these, there's a family sitting on the Pentacles down here. They're definitely steady, definitely comfortable where they are. People are definitely uplifted within this, you know, like, it, it's like complete closure, um, everything worked according to plan, and then there's this offer that is slowly but surely coming from this stable environment of wealth and gain, right? What is the ending? Ah, completion! Um, the world is coming to an end and you don't know what to do. Group two. Like there's completion. It's coming full circle. Everything is coming together as the universe would have it. Um, everything is possibly really going in your favor, honestly. Like everything's just hitting them synchronicities and whatever the hell everybody else talks about. Right? Right. And face cards. Oh, that's too many. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. The tower room is still avoided. Someone is left out in the cold with a lot of hesitation and a lot of introspection of their own feelings, right? Yeah, someone's still got like lessons to learn. Taurus energy. The Hierophant. There might be a lack of commitment here too. There might not be anybody committing to anything. And someone is really nostalgic about the past. The Six of Cups. Dealing with, like, getting information or end things and having a hard time deciding things. Like, the past is definitely influencing a lot of that. And I feel like there's still shit being hidden with the Hierophant being reversed. Like, his two fingers up usually means, like, there are things that are unknown to you. And I feel like you still haven't learned everything yet that you were supposed to. And then right here, someone is really restricting themselves 
um, which is balancing of lovers <laughs> and a slow offer coming from completion. There's a lot of restriction. I'm wondering if this deals with the Wheel of Fortune as in Group 1s. Hmm. I don't know. This has been very interesting, Gemini. I swear to God, I love you guys. You all are so fucking interesting. Like, what neat adventures are you going to go on next? But, um... That's really confusing to me. Like, I don't know how to read that. Like, usually I just read them just by what I get from them, and it's like... Like, is that... Like, are you trying to balance... Like, I don't know, it's like both of you are just looking. <laughs> but I don't know. But that's, you're reading Gemini, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.